Should I go to bed? Hello and welcome to Wildflowers. It's going to be an exciting day today. We are hopefully going to get our broom. And um, now that we have this expanded shed, I'm going to see if I can arrange things a little better here. This huge thing can go there and this one can live in the corner over there. Hmm. We'll put that there for now. And this can maybe go next to the fermentation barrel. I think we want to make the candle maker. We are getting beeswax every now and then. We'll put this over here. And we'll also make The dying bath, yeah, sure. We can put that next to the cloth maker thingy. The uh, loom. And I guess we could make a couple of these. We'll put them sort of like kind of um, in to the middle of the uh, floor, not too close to the other makers, just so that we'll have an easier time uh, targeting the maker we want to target. I think this is a good distance away from the other things. Metal working table, we need a gold ingot. Glass kiln. We need um, more iron. I guess. Do we want to make another fermentation barrel? Hmm, maybe at some point. All right. Let's water all of these. So, in addition to uh going to the um, Ravenwood Hollow to fetch our broom. I also want to try and figure out who it is we need to talk to about the rain. Is it Giva? I think it might be. Because um, she's the meteorologist and uh, Oh, our summon small things has worn off. Things I want but don't yet have. Get off the ground and in my bag. That's better. Yeah, I think it is going to be Giva, who we need to talk to. So we'll see if we can get that done today. And 
whatever time we have left. At the end of the day, we'll spend in the mine. Let's fish the cat. Cleocatra. Something to eat. A studfish. Hello, kitty. Hey there, kitty. I love that we now have a name for her. <laughs> you still liked that, didn't you, kitty? So yeah, whatever time we have left at the end of the day, we'll spend in the mine, because we do need to find a ruby for the season changing spell. We can't really use the money at the moment, but um, I'm kind of hoping for new recipes from those dirt piles as well. Let's go see if we can find Giva. It's already past 12 p.m. Is she working today? She is. Hi. Oh. Oh, hi, Tara. Nice of you to pop by. I don't get many visitors all the way up here. Only Parker seems to really enjoy the hike up the mountain pass. But it's always nice to have a chat with them. So it isn't you who we need to talk to. Who is it then? I guess maybe we should head down to the uh, town center or village center or whatever and try to find the person who has the uh, quest marker on top of their head. First though. Let's do this. Wesley, hi. I have some potions for you. Wonderful. I've been reading up on this in some 18th century texts. Do you ever catch up with your family back in Alaska? Well, my dad walked out on us when my brother and I were three. Went back to Russia. My mom and I talk, but she also thinks I run a bookstore in Milkwater. I haven't been able to tell her about, um, no, you know. No, must be a little tough not being able to be honest with your family. <laughs> All right, Tara, get a load of this, my finest work yet. I love her. I don't want to say that it looks the same. But it looks the same. It's how she flies that matters, not how she looks silly. <laughs> and she'll only fly for you. Now, you'll only want to use this broom in Fairhaven. Perry placed a charm here to keep witches from coming and going unannounced. Oh, and you can forget about taking your broom into the glo- Oops, I poured said too much. No, Zephyr. <sighs> never mind, never mind. The glow? What's the glow? Nothing, nothing at all. Anyway, uh, oh, here's some levitation potion. You'll, uh, need to keep her fully charged to fly around, so, uh, keep a batch of levitation potion brewing whenever you can. Ooh, very smooth. <laughs> Change of subject there. Which of the Fae was the first to live in Ravenwood Hollow? My great, great, 
great grandparents were fiddling with whirligig bits when Perry and Ariel came along. Oh, I hope my nephews will move back to continue the Grimm's Bark tradition. Hmm. I wonder if we'll ever learn more about the Fey world. She was about to mention something about it. But, um, well, we'll see. Are the humans staying clear of the Coven Circle? It isn't safe for them. If you see anyone who isn't a witch pass through the brambles, you must tell me, Witchling. Hmm. That reminds me. We still haven't learned anything more about the Raven. I still kind of think it might be Vanessa. But, um, I guess we'll learn more about that in due time. Let's go see if we can find the person who we need to talk to about the rain. Hi, Natalia. Feel free to ask me any questions you have about mining. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we've already heard that before. It's Sunday, so most places are going to be closed. Angus? Oh, it's just that. Oh, Tara, this is incredible. You are truly the apple of my pie. Aww. Messenger Cameron tells us not to eat too many carbs. It's bad for our concentration. But he still buys pastries from me all the time. <laughs> He's so supportive. Or he has a sweet tooth. Hey, why can't it be both? No, let's say it's both. It's a perfect day, Messenger. What's got you down? Oh, um... I just got a text from an old friend of mine. Uh, Tammy played my sister on the sitcom I starred in as a kid. She booked a role in the next big superhero movie. <laughs> I'm happy for her, but sometimes I wonder what would have happened if I'd stayed in Hollywood. Would that be me? Hmm. Well, you need to follow your dreams. Is it your dream to be a Hollywood actor? Or would you rather try to inspire people to uh, do this whole climbing the mountain thing? So we need to find somebody with a quest marker. That'll be the person we need to talk to. It is already 6pm though. So I don't think there will be very many people around. Let's go spend the rest of today in the mine. I see Natalia has the same idea. We'll see if we can find the key to the next level. And also, it wouldn't hurt to find some more silver. Keys have usually been under uh, these kinds of rocks, so that's why I'm only breaking open these ones. Trying to find the key. Also, the um, 
the ones that can produce gems take two hits and these only take one so uh there's that as well Hmm. Let's have some lemonade and popcorn. Not what I meant to do. There we go. I wonder who it is that we'll need to talk to about the rain then, if not Giva. I suppose we'll just wander around town. Every um I'm all out of strength. Already? Wow. I guess we'll just wander around town every morning and early afternoon and try to find whoever it is. Ah, oh, no key. That's weird. Did I miss one of those rocks? Or can it be under anything? Uh huh. Let's have some more lemonade. We'll use up our energy and then go to bed. Hey, this looks like a key to the next level. Oh, so it can be under anything. It's just randomly happened. Right. This is the floor the high priestess gave me the key for. At least I don't have to go looking under every rock for it this time. Oh, okay. So it's the key has just randomly happened to be under one of those easy to break rocks until the level we just were on. <sighs> what a long day. Ah, our speed boost has worn off. Let's water everything. I'm not going to plant anything new. Seeing as we found the level that we got the key for, I think it may be that we'll find the ruby soon. The time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and make me fast. At least I hope we'll find the ruby soon. Let's fish. After fishing, I guess we'll go into town oh, and see if we can find anybody with a quest marker. Aww, who's a good kitty? Good morning, Cleocatra. Some breakfast. <laughs> you look 
liked that, didn't you, kitty? We need to try out our broom as well. See how that works. Oh, I feel badly for Francis. He just doesn't have the stamina to mine up precious metals for his jewelry. We'll help him out, won't we, Tara? Ah, oh, we sure will. Let's see if I can upgrade my axe now. My pickaxe now, I mean. The axe is fine as it is. We'll uh, do this first. And we're poor once again. Now, who is it? Not Angus, although we've already talked to Vanessa. Nope. Parker. Nuh uh. Uh, Shelby. I guess it could be Shelby. Nope. We'll see what he's got, though. Tried giving Angus a recipe from back home to use up leftover bits of bread. No reason to waste what's perfectly useful. Hmm. Oh, we, uh, don't have enough money. Let's sell something. Maybe... Um, some of those shells. I think we need these for some potion or another. More mandrake. Lovely. Huh. I guess we'll go into town. So the broom is, um, has replaced our map icon. I guess maybe it's a quick travel system. Violet. Hi, Violet. What you doing? Oh, I'm just sprinkling some flower seeds. Just general town beautification, you know. Okay, fine. Look, when my dad was mayor, my mom always kept this area planted with colorful flowers. Mrs. Soft prefers a greener palette. Don't tell anyone you saw me here, please. Don't worry, our secret is safe with me. In fact, let me know if you need extra flower seeds. Wow, thanks. I know, this place really needs some cheerful color, don't you think? Look. I know I should leave this place alone. I can't help it. It brings up too many memories. I can't wait until Sebastian is old enough to live on his own. Then I'm moving away from this island. I just need to leave this town and all the constant reminders of everything I've lost. Aww. I hope we can help her find her mom. Or at least find out what happened to her. Nobody's around. It's not Damon either. Not Lena. I guess we could, um, take this way home and um, go to the mine. Nope. Not Francis or Sophia. Who is it? We'll have to wander around tomorrow as well. 
well, every day, until we find who it, who it is that we need to talk to. Let's just do a little bit more foraging and then go into the mine and see if we can find that ruby. So I guess if, if that level that we got to last night is the one that we have the key for, We'll just run to the door and then the level that we get to next is going to be one that we can find rubies on. Yeah, I really don't know who it is that we need to talk to about the rain. Let's go and um, see if we can find a ruby. So is level 15 going to be the bottom of the mine? Or are there levels even beyond that? I guess we'll find out. Huh. Oh, it still takes two hits for those dual containing, well, possibly dual containing, uh, rocks. But maybe does each hit now take a little less energy than they used to? Ooh, gold. Maybe they do take less energy now. Well, that's nice. If we find one more gold ore, then we'll be able to make an ingot. No rubies yet. But we still have lots of time. And we have food with us. So no worries. We'll just keep looking for gold and I suppose more silver is nice too. We can upgrade our axe as well. need to find the key to this door. Uh-huh. So this is not the deepest level. Ooh. There's our ruby. 
Let's keep digging though. Maybe we'll find that key. Yeah, these berry smoothies are not worth it. We should just sell the strawberries as they are when we grow them. We'll make lots more money and uh, the smoothies don't even restore all that much energy. So they aren't good for selling and they aren't even that good for um energy hey, restoring. This looks like a key to the next level. Nice. Let's go. See what we can find here. Let's drink one more smoothie. Haven't found any more gold ore yet. Just the one. But uh, we did find the ruby. And that's wonderful. Tomorrow we'll be able to make the season, season change incantation. And then once all, all of our summer crops are grown, we'll change the season once again. Let's go to bed. And tomorrow we'll continue with our efforts to find whoever it is that we need to talk to about the drought being over. Thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. I'd like it if you'd leave me a like. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.